Hi, uh, welcome to this newsletter. Um, it's been an unseasonally warm um, October, so I've just grabbed the opportunity to come down, jump in there. I've literally just been in um, to sort of prime my body before it gets really cold and um, film this before, rather than sort of talking to you in the pouring rain, which could be funny, but <laughs> you might not be able to hear me quite so well. Um, in my last newsletter, I talked about some of sort of the rationale behind my work in terms of so trying to, to paint the landscape within a modern context in terms of graffiti representing man's presence and impact within the landscape and kind of this layering of sort of man winning and nature reclaiming and stuff like that. I wanted to just keep, um, expand on sort of some of that rationale and thinking a little bit here in terms of how my weather is sort of coincidentally placed to be capturing kind of extreme weather events and then also kind of how it is placed to, to capture the activity of water within the atmosphere, within paint. And so I grew up in North Cornwall and I just, I, I revel in going out in sort of extreme challenging weather. I, I find it kind of just the con it increases the connection to nature and just makes me feel alive and nourished. It's probably partly why I'm drawn to being a nutter to go in, in, in sort of icy weather at the moment, but that it just, it makes me feel alive. And so that, that sort of that natural inclination to go out into extreme weather has kind of placed my work through just my trial and error, um, has placed my work in, in a great situation to be sort of documenting this sort of increased likelihood of, of sort of extreme weather events, basically. And so there's that obvious kind of, um, literal sort of thing of my weather is sort of documenting like I like I worked in 120 mile an hour winds in Storm Eunice earlier this year and it's sort of it's documenting this increased weather events um, but there's a deeper thing I was sort of reading about how water within the atmosphere is going to change at, within a heating climate so a hotter climate means more will evaporate and so water won't be around to cool the landscape and to have a cooling effect and so with more evaporating, the plants will dry out. There's an increased likelihood of sort of forest, of, of wildfires. And then once the atmosphere gets saturated with water, it then dumps back down in, in sort of in a, a monsoonal sort of sense. And so there's an increased likelihood, this sort of compounding effect of fire and flooding. And this cycle will sort of in, increase as the, the atmosphere warms, which is a bit of a terrifying horrible prospect basically but my work is all about the use of water within paint and then how that actually diluted paint behaves within the water and it kind of it captures the effect of water so I've, I've sort of often think about how the textures and effects within the surface mirror the activity of water within the landscape how it creates sort of canyons and carves out sort of rock formations within the landscape and and it it sort of it mirrors the effects of the forces of nature and water as kind of a a fundamental building block of life but this sort of activity of sort of fire and flood that is going to become an increased sort of um feature within within a, a warming climate is is kind of again going to be sort of mirrored within the sort of the textures and the paint within within the canvas so it's kind of, it's coincidentally the way that my work has sort of evolved and um, that I work will increasingly kind of, the technical process and the, and the way that I like to work within sort of challenging situations plein air will increasingly kind of mirror and document and record the, the changing landscape in terms of the water and the, the features of storms and stuff that we get. So it's... um. I love sort of challenging situations, but it's also kind of quite terrifying. This, this, um, the way this world and our children are going to go, grow up in this world. Anyway, um, I'm a little bit cold because I've just been in that water, so I'm going to go and have a coffee and warm up and um, have a lovely day.